early 80s big boxy Cadillac slab that has been custom painted to be uh, metallic, bright, like Mardi Gras for the white top. Boom! And it has spinners, like super sticky outy spinners, if you know what that is, y'all. This is like the epitome of Houston right here. <laughs> He's so cool. Anyway, um, hi, I'm in the car, and look, I managed for once to turn my phone the right direction. Oh, extra jazz hand. Okay, hands on the wheel. Um, <laughs> so it is a bright sunny day, and I recently, maybe you already know this, posted a video where I went to Target and tried on their activewear because um, I had never done that before. And um, I, here we go. And uh, and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go to Target and try on their activewear because last time I was there, I didn't try on any activewear, and I have owned Torrid activewear in the past and enjoyed it, um, but I've also owned Torrid activewear in the past and felt like totally ripped off because the quality was very poor. Um, and I don't know what they have now. Now, obviously, in store, they're going to have a lot less than online um, because they have a limited amount of room and they don't dedicate very much to activewear. So I don't think there's going to be like a ton of things, but I'm just going to go see. Um, I like doing inside the dressing rooms, it's fun, and maybe I'll find something, um, I've been kind of wanting to spruce up my activewear a little bit, you know, I bought a few pieces at Target the other day, um, I'm doing a lot more hiking, like small hikes lately, so, um, and it's getting hot, and I don't actually have like super great stuff for when it's like hot weather hiking, so I am kind of looking in that vein. Normally, I try not to hike when it's hot, but I'm trying to hike just more in general and be in nature more, so we're pushing through. <laughs> we're dealing with the heat um, because it is important to me and really beneficial for my uh, self-care practice to be in nature as much as possible. So, I'm on my way. Um, let's see. I did talk about, like, quality construction in my Target video, which if you haven't seen, I will just briefly go over again. So the main thing that I talked about, um, and I will talk about other things this time, but the main thing that I talked about in the Target video was if you look at the crotch of a pair of activewear leggings, um, not so much like looser fitting pants because they don't necessarily need it, but like tighter leggings, so leggings or tights, um, stuff like that that fits tight to the body and has to really stretch a lot so if you see a seam to just like a seam and a seam um that is going to be less durable in the long run than if you see like a gusset that's usually like a diamond or a rectangle um with seams leading off of that that's a much stronger and more durable um way to construct a pair of uh, bottoms so i talked about that in the target video so also what you can look for um and I'm saying this, you may already know these things, but I've had people say, hey, it's really helpful when you say stuff like this, because I didn't know, so that's why I'm saying it, so I'm sorry if you already know these things, but, um, so on your bottoms and your tops, uh, on really anything, you want to look for, um, preferably flat lock seaming, which I will, um, try to show you when we get there, if I can remember, um, what that looks like, but basically it means that it's a way of sewing the seams where they're not, or they're less likely, let's say, to rub against your skin and cause like chafing or uh, discomfort. So flat lock seaming is great, and they're just more durable in general. If you can pull on them more, they're going to um, be able to withstand more. shorts that 
I still wear from them that have just this year like started stretching out. I actually just threw one pair away, or I um, in the, to the donate pile um, because it's so stretched out that it's like too big for me now. Um, but the other pair that was a smaller size to start with, I still wear. Um, they're great. So Old Navy quality for their activewear seems to be really good. However, when they asked me that question, I went to the Old Navy website to see like, oh, you know, maybe I'll do a little Old Navy activewear haul. And there was nothing I really wanted, so I didn't buy anything. Um, but that might be a good place for you to check out. Um, and then what else? Um, some people had mentioned Athleta, which is owned by the same people as Old Navy. Um, they only go to a 2X, so I've never tried their stuff. Um, of course, Super Fit Hero uh, is like my holy grail of activewear. It's on the pricey side, it's definitely an investment, but it will last you forever. Like, forever. It is such good quality, it's an ethical company. I always talk about them. It's like, okay, Lord, we get it. You love Super Fit Hero. They recently came out with um, tanks, which I really want to get one. Um, check them out if you want to purchase something from them and it's your first time ordering. You can use the code RADICAL for 15 off. I, it's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money off of that. It's just a code that they have set up with me to be able to share with you. Um, so if that 15% off will help you to be able to order, and then great. There's also another company um, that seems kind of in the same vein as Superfit Hero, but totally different aesthetic, or a vibe, I would say, um, called Girlfriend, and their stuff seems to also be made in the U.S. Um, it looks, I've not touched it or seen it in real life, but it looks to be nice quality. Um, it's a much more like Instagram aesthetic kind of deal. Superfit Hero is like for athletes. And it's fun, but Girlfriend, which I've seen advertised on Instagram, um, and also has uh, relatively inclusive sizing, um, has a much more like kind of fashion Instagram aesthetic to it. Uh, but I would like to try it. So one day when I have some money, I'll um, place an order with them. Because they do have um, my size, so that's cool. I think I might be the highest size that they have. Superfit Hero goes to 5X, which I really appreciate. Um, Junonia is a really great place to get active wear. They have uh, pretty inclusive sizing and bomb quality. So good. And they're like the old school plus size active wear company. They've been around a long time. Their quality is so good. Again, you're going to pay for it, but like plus size, like 4X snow pants, where else are you going to get them? <laughs> um, really good swimsuits to swim laps in, like their stuff is for athletics. It's really, really, really good quality. I cannot say enough about the quality of their clothing. Like Junonia, or I think they're like Juno Active now. Um, yeah, and then there's like the independent leggings companies, Bombshell or K Deer. Those are really good. Um, Those are really the places. You know, Lane Bryant, Livia Active has some good pieces, especially if you're smaller. There's a lot of stuff for you there. But they have a lot of, like, t-shirts with, like, sayings on them, which I'm not into, or, like, um, their logo. Like, Livia Active, like, I don't want to wear a shirt that says Livia Active. As cute as it is, like, I don't, I don't want to wear it. Um, anyway, so that's just a few places that people kind of often ask me about, or that I really want you to know about. Um, so I'm going to stop rambling. Almost 10 minutes of me just like driving in the car <laughs> and talking to you in order to not be bored. So, next time you see me, I'm gonna be um, in the dressing room showing you some stuff. Hello friends, here I am in the dressing room at Torrid, just showing you what I'm wearing. And these bike shorts are actually from Torrid. <laughs> these are kind of old. Um, and here I'm trying to show you the flat lock seaming. And when I was doing this, I realized that my shorts were dirty from um, some crafting I had been doing. So disregard, please. <laughs> Um, so here's the stuff that I pulled. Now, disregard these pants in front. I pulled them from the clearance section, but they did not fit, so I'm not showing you. <laughs> so this is the first set um, of two that I've picked. They're both florals. Um, Tora does have a really cute looking activewear. Uh, these are both in a size four. So look, it looks very cute. <laughs> so at first glance, you're like, yes, I like this a lot. Well, I was like, yes, I like this a lot. Um, 
So these are supposed to be crops, but on me, they're not. So it does have um, some cute mesh detailing on the back of the sports bra. Um, everything is comfortable. Let me just say that. The pants are reasonably high-waisted, so they come up high over my belly, which is nice. Um, they have a nice wide waistband. Nothing is too compression-y. Um, there's a pocket, which is nice, I think, on both sides. Yes, pocket on both sides. Um, but the material is not ideal, I will just say. Um, if you stretch it too much, it starts to get sheer and kind of white underneath because it's backed with white. So, um, for their prices, like, just not too exciting. Oh, that was the seaming, the cross seaming that I was talking about. So none of these had the good construction, like with the diamond or the rectangle or whatever. So here's the second set. It's another floral. I mean, it's so pretty, right? Like, it's very exciting to look at these. Um... Now I've got this shirt in a three, everything else is in a four. They did not have this top, that pink top, um, in a size four. Um, and then this last thing I'm showing you is another top that doesn't go with anything. It did actually go with some things, but nothing that they had in my size. So these are basically the same pants, um, pockets on each side, same um, style, same waistband, same everything. Um, now the sports bra is different in the back, which I'm gonna show you in a second also comfortable but also felt very hot like look how cute though the sports bra is um if you are into sports bras and you like kind of a medium compression um you're gonna really like their sports bras because um that's what they are they're cute they're medium compression they're pretty comfortable y'all know i hate sports bras <laughs> but i do feel okay in theirs not okay enough to buy them though <laughs> okay here's a shirt that's in a size three this is much brighter in person um but i have to say the three fit just fine it's very very stretchy and i liked this it's a poly spandex um and it feels like it could be wicking um and and or at least fast drying which is really nice especially for the summer um and then this last top was not in a wicking fabric this was definitely like a cotton blend um but it is very cute sorry about my arm <laughs> so the way that this works is it's full coverage in front but in the back it's very open um which i'm going to show you here so if you are cool with letting your back fat or your back rolls free and let them be breezy then this is for you like i would totally wear this shirt i liked it a lot um but i don't need it so I'm saying so-so here because I don't need it, even though it is very cute. Okay, so I'm back from trying on all the things. Uh, sorry for this weird angle. You are perched on my uh, dashboard. <laughs> so um, as I know that you just heard in the voiceover that I haven't done yet, <laughs> You know how I liked all the things, um, and basically they did not have a lot of stuff. There was literally one small rack. Um, it's really disappointing. It's even less stuff than they used to have in store. I don't know what their deal is, I guess. Um, I mean, they must have some reason. Maybe the activewear just doesn't sell or something like that. Um, but I pulled most of the things that were in my size um you know one of each thing there were some like heavier jackets that i just like y'all it's too hot i can't do it even for science um i was hoping to find some shorter pants those were both labeled as being uh crops um and on me because i have short legs i guess uh they were not cropped <laughs> um the first pair that i tried on I didn't pull all the way down um, because I was like trying to leave any amount of skin exposed but they would have gone down farther um, yeah and the quality not great now I'm telling you I've had some torrid activewear pieces that were really good that held up over a long time that I still wear um, like the shorts that I'm wearing today that I showed you in the mirror and then noticed that they were dirty <laughs> it's been a busy day I've been doing a lot of stuff I got them dirty earlier and did not even notice anyway these I've had for a long time the pants that are basically like the like actual like capri length version of these same shorts they have that same colored stripe on them um also held up really well i've had um some others that were great that um lasted a long time the material was good these the material was different and it's that same material that when i've had them in the past like i would order them online and not know what it felt like and i would get it and they would the seams would rip 
Um, and if you'll notice, well, uh, of course I pointed it out, you know, the construction in the crotch, it didn't have the gusset, it was just two seams, not gonna hold up over time. Um, I mean, they were flat lock stitched, but they just didn't seem like the greatest construction. And for like $55, $60, you want that stuff to be nice. That's almost as much as a pair of super fit hero pants that are ethically made in the United States or Girlfriend, um, that brand that I wanna try. Um, people paid a living wage, high quality materials. I don't want to pay that much money for something that is, you know, like, not great. <laughs> That's not going to stand the test of time. Um, you know, I spend a lot of time in activewear and being a, a person in a larger body and especially somebody who is like, um, oh, I'm bouncing in the parking garage, um, who expands a lot as I move like you know I'm one size standing up and then I squat or sit down and my body expands like I need my activewear to be heavy duty durable you know can handle the movement of my body just as it exists but then also the movement that I do with my body um, you know I wear this stuff hiking if it snags on a branch I want it to be okay um, so pretty disappointing trip I have to say the sports bras were fine I don't love sports bras so I was never gonna buy one of those um, but they they more than the pants seemed like you know they would hold up better over time but they were very expensive um, for what they are and the material that they are the material seemed thick um, I don't know I'm just harping on it a lot but it just wasn't great very disappointed um, Maybe some, some of the stuff online is a better quality. I don't know, because I can't try it on in the freaking store. <laughs> so I can't tell you. Um, yeah, maybe other toys would have more, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like they have the same ratio of things usually. Um, and I'm kind of over it. I don't really want to go check another store, especially because they're like far away from each other. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, oh, I did want to mention uh, REI as a place to get uh, athletic wear. Now, uh, I am a co-op member of REI. I buy a lot of my hiking and camping gear there, but I do not buy clothing there because they don't have my size. And they did recently like say, oh, we're, we're you know, expanding our size range and blah, blah, blah. When I go to the store, I don't see any plus size stuff there. I can't find it. I ask an employee, they don't know where to find it. Now, allegedly, <laughs> and online, they go up to a 24 um, so if you're smaller than me that'll be helpful but you know that doesn't help me and that doesn't help my uh, brothers and sisters who are larger than me um, so that's pretty disappointing um, yeah I think that's all I got for this I hope it was uh, helpful if you're looking for activewear I hope that my kind of rambling earlier about different brands was helpful if you're looking for activewear if you have recommendations on places um, to try I'm open to hear it uh, just keep in mind that I wear a size 26 28 and so they need to have my size <laughs> um, let's see yeah all right comment below what did you think of this where do you buy your activewear all the usual things. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all being here. Um, I really appreciate this community and having a place to talk about this stuff and to share and to commiserate and to support. Um, yeah, all of those things. The whole spectrum <laughs> of meaningful connections. <laughs> all right, y'all. Um, okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.